See this? Two dimes right there. That's how much money you save per year going with a 5400 RPM drive or a 5900 RPM drive versus a 7200 RPM drive that is optimized for power efficiency. At least that is what Seagate is claiming is the reason that they are switching from having a green or an eco-friendly optimized lower RPM, lower performance storage drive, and then a middle of the range sort of uh, still purely magnetic storage. So sort of Seagate strategy going forward is gonna be a little bit different, but having a green drive versus a 7200 RPM somewhat performance drive and then a higher end drive. So in the past, they had the Barracuda 5900 RPM drive, they had the Barracuda 7200 RPM drive, and then they had the Barracuda XT, which was a 7200 RPM drive with better performance, more tuning, etc., etc. Well now, Seagate is doing away with that three-tiered approach and they are going with only a single pure magnetic drive at least sometime in the future. So right now, they still have the Barracuda, this is uh, an eval unit, so hence the labeling on it. And they're still going to have the Barracuda XT, but the XT is going to be a hybrid drive in the future, and they are completely doing away with the lower RPM drives because Seagate says that for the savings and for the performance reduction, it is simply not worth the slight decrease in cost that a 5400 or 5900 RPM drive provides because in terms of manufacturing, they're actually very, very similar. Also, in terms of the testing and validation process, they take longer to validate because they spin slower. So you actually, on the manufacturing level, are not really saving very much money at all. So, here we go. This is codename Granada. This is a 7200 RPM. This is going to be the Barracuda drive moving forward, and then there will be the Barracuda XT at some point in the future. It has a 64 meg cache, which is all fine and good, but what's really interesting about this drive is the fact that Seagate now has one terabyte platters. So what do one terabyte platters mean? One terabyte platters mean that your two terabyte drive is going to be faster due to the increased density of the data storage on the drive. So it's gonna be faster than your old two terabyte drive. And it's also gonna be more reliable than your old two terabyte drive. And the reason for that is that it actually has fewer parts inside, so fewer points of failure compared to a drive that has a ton of platters and a ton of read heads in order to achieve the capacity that it has achieved. Now, in terms of the actual physical drive itself, you're gonna notice this looks an awful lot like a standard three and a half inch drive. You got your SATA power, you got your SATA six gigabit per second, or six, yeah, six gigabit per second, 600 megabit per second, no, six gigabit per second. You wrote 600 megabit per second. Uh, Either way, you've got your SATA 3 6 gigabit per second interface here, you got a couple little jumpers there, you got your standard mounting holes, all that good stuff. So what is this really about? This video isn't really about the unboxing or debagging of this particular drive. This is more about Seagate's refocus on what is best for the consumer. So what they're saying is, you know what, enough of this 20 cents of savings per year nonsense because honestly you're probably losing far more than that in terms of productivity just waiting around for your data to be accessed. Let's not, you know, charge more for the performance drive if it costs as much to manufacture and it uses as much power almost. It's actually slightly less power efficient than a low RPM drive. But let's not charge more for it if it doesn't actually cost us more to produce. So they're going ahead, they're saying let's simplify things for the consumer. We're going to have one drive in a variety of capacities and then on the performance side we're going to do hybrid drives. We're going to add caching to them. They're going to be legitimate much higher performance than a standard 7200 RPM drive and that's the only differentiation that they're going to have. So I say thumbs up to Seagate for simplifying things for the consumer and simplifying things that really at every level, at their own level, at the retailer level, they don't have to have as many SKUs. You want a hard drive? Here's a hard drive. You want a hybrid drive? Here's a hybrid drive. That's pretty much it. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Barracuda. CDU unit, so I don't know what that stands for, but there you go. And don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.